Hello amazing people and how are you on this wonderful and incredible day? I'm Janine, I'm a mindset alchemist and I use my psychic abilities to help you understand what your thoughts, your words and your feelings do. Actually the chemistry between them and how this impacts your life. Well why is that important Janine? Well the reason it's important is because we create with our thoughts and I work with women looking and healers who are tired of overwhelm and would like to go to the next level with ease and joy and I help you with that. Mindset is so so important and uh, if you look back in all my videos you'll understand why. One of the reasons why I offer the gift of looking at the energy of the week for people here on my page and in my group, which I'd love to invite you to, Optimal Awareness for Driven Entrepreneurs, where we take driven out of entrepreneurship. We uh, can then plan our week better. We can understand what's going on so much better. And in this wonderful month of August, where there's a tremendous amount of heart energy, expansive energy, foundation energy and emotions bubbling up so that we can let go of them see them situations coming forward so that we can decide well do i want to carry on with this cycle or am i choosing to change it august is definitely an intriguing month and new moons coming up people so we are being asked to look at our shadow side we are being asked to delve into what no longer serves us as a month and as um, a push and pull energy of the moon on the earth and on the water within our bodies and on all the other planets that are popping around however when you can understand the uh, value hi Lynn, the value of what is going on with new moon you are able to reset your targets reset your intentions look and see what you've achieved how you would like to achieve it and that is why the energy of this week of the 16th is very very interesting because you are being asked to be very aware of what is going on around you in the world uh, and not necessarily the world at large, your world, the world within you, the world in your family, the world in your business, the world of the people around you and how your feelings are coming forward, not what feelings are coming forward, how are they coming forward, are you being shown a to that certain people trigger it are you being shown that certain situations are bringing up memories to be cleared you are being asked to check in what's happening what is triggering it how's it causing it to happen and then obviously deal with the feelings as they're coming forward intuition and rebirth are key words for this week well actually they're key words for this month and heart wholeness comes from healing and from being aware and having that awareness that there is heart healing to be done. If you require help with that, please reach out and we can chat about that. The important thing is, what are you being asked to create? Because it's okay to feel your emotions and to work with them rather than against them. So if you feel sad, be sad. Understand where it's coming from. See where it's being triggered. And check in. Is it yours? If it's not, please return to sender with consciousness attached so that they can be given the opportunity to work through it so that they can put in a deeper, stronger, more stable foundation as well. And recognize your growth. Where have you grown from last week? Where have you grown from an hour ago? And feel into what you are being asked to create. It's very much a year of creation, a week of creation. And as we all know, it's a year of huge, huge change. You're also being shown that there will be heightened awareness and that many of the illusions you had about yourself, about others, about situations and about your future may be shattered this week. And it's in owning and grieving and mourning the loss of that illusion as you step forward more into your power and more into what it is you are being asked to create that you will gain greater clarity on what is being brought forward to you and this is where journal and burn is a wonderful option and like I said if you mad own it if you sad own it you don't have to keep it but go and see what triggered it how it triggered where are you grieving where are you excited where are you creating because within this new world that's coming forward, your pure instinctual self is calling to be heard as a show, as a way shower of your life, to show you the way of creating your life. 
The power of insight is there for you to use and allow that power of insight to guide you. Listen to that whisper because a new life is definitely beginning. You are also being asked to understand that what's happening inside of you is what's creating what is outside of you. You do not have to choose the reality of the collective consciousness of what you do not wish to have in your life. If you wish to have growth, if you wish to have cash flow, if you wish to have income, you can choose this. And this is just as important as anything else. Remember that there's peace in silence. So go within, go, in fact, go outside, get into nature and recharge in nature. That is going to help the rebirthing because remember there's a death before there's a rebirth with the phoenix. And when that phoenix, the phoenix has to go to ash for the spark to be lit. And that is very much what is being happened. The old is being burned so that the, the ember of what is asking to be created can flare into life and you can create anything you choose it just takes time focus and a decision and that's how a new life is very much beginning when you reconnect with yourself in nature you're also being asked to have fun so go and pick flowers go and look at the daisies uh, if, it, if it's in your home look at color look at how you can do clutter and clear and how you can be more of yourself because you are being asked to transform challenge into creativity challenge into the reality you choose to have if you wish cash flow choose a reality of it if you choose relationship choose a, re a reality of it if you choose great and uh, foundational relationships go create it understand you have that beautiful light inside yourself that shines out and lights the darkness in front of you and just as a skin sheds its as a snake sheds its skin you are being asked to step forward into your growth and shed the skin of your past you are being asked to invite the new you to come forward from your heart into your life, into your space, and to create what you choose to have. Thank you very much for joining me and have a wonderful and amazing day. Bye-bye.